while the earth remain, seed time and harvest and cold and heat and summer and winter and day and night shall not see. Somebody say this is a fixed law. And so some of the things that we are experiencing in our life, we have the audacity to blame God. And, and, and in some cases we say, well, we can't blame God, so we blame the devil. And the truth of the matter is we are the only person to blame for what's going on in our lives. Amen. All right, y'all ain't saying nothing. And disobeying God's commandments, his principles, his precepts, and so forth brings natural and spiritual consequences. Amen? Amen. And some of us, our lives are re directly reflecting some of the decisions that we've made. And we don't necessarily like what is taking place in our life, but we have to take ownership that what I see, I've sold. Amen. Somebody say, what I see is what I've sown. Somebody say, what is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? If, if, I don't understand how this is happening. Have you ever, as a parent or seen some other parents say to their kid, I don't know where you got that from. And what they mean is, I never told you this, but they forgot they sold it. I don't know why you act like that. Let me talk. Maybe, 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 because you know now you have to start dealing with your own stuff as a parent too. Because you know you'll see some things in your kids, and you'll get so wonderful you'll forget that before the cross you had a past, and you sow some things that you're going to reap, and some of the things you sow you're going to reap through your kids because you did it to your mama. I'll talk to this side. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Now you don't understand that there's this fixed law of seed time and harvest sowing and reaping that is in place in that just because you got saved it don't change it. You got some harvest coming off some stuff you sowed. You tell your kid that ain't cute what you're doing. It wasn't cute when you were sowing it. Let me talk. Let me talk. <laughs> Son, that ain't cool what you're doing. It wasn't cool when you sowed it. Oh, y'all don't got quiet up in here. Some of y'all nervous because you got little kids and you know the stuff you did that you ain't get back yet. You're like, oh my God, I got some stuff coming. Some of y'all are laughing because you've seen what you did come back to you, but you still tried to pretend and say, I don't understand where it came because I didn't teach you that. You didn't have to teach me that. You sold it. What is this? Listen, if you're under the blood, you should be grateful that it ain't going to be as bad as it could have been because grace and mercy going to help you out a little bit. I figured I'd throw that at you because you was looking like, oh, my God. Instead of saying, Lord, I thank you. I don't repent it. And I thought it was over. But now I know what I need to be in intercession for. I know what I need to be intercepting. I know y'all ain't going to help me. Some of y'all know what I mean. You were rebellious, prideful, and stubborn. And now you see it in your kids. And you be talking about, what is this? Where did this come from? Oh, it must have came from your daddy. You know you was crazy, too. Am I talking to the right people today? And let me tell you something. If you want to see something different, you're going to have to sow something different. Y'all ain't going to help me. You're going to have to do something different. You can't do the same thing over and over again and expect different results. Even the world calls that insanity. You're so comfortable quitting everything. But what are you... What? what <coughs> What are you producing through your offspring that's going to frustrate, frustrate you later in life? You're going to have sons and daughters that are quitters. See, think about this. If you sow good seed, when you come back to it, you should have a good what? What's wrong with that? And then let me show you what's so awesome about it is you sow good seed. You come reap a great harvest and in that harvest... The seed is in itself, which means that if you sow good and you reap, you're going to reap a continual harvest of good. Because, and you'll never run out because in that fruit will be seed for the next cycle. So I'm not, let me tell you why you're frustrated. You're frustrated because you're in a cycle that is producing bad. That's producing, y'all ain't going to help me. So you're frustrated, but you don't understand what it is that's going on. What is this? What is it? I've been sowing the wrong thing. But if you make a decision to change up the seed, if you make a decision to change up and do things God's way, I'm telling you, you won't be complaining about your cycle. Am I See, there's some stuff you forgot about that God ain't forgot about. 
I'm going to talk to somebody else. I said, there's some stuff you forgot about that God has not forgotten about. It just, you got to understand, some things return a little quicker than others. Some harvests manifest a little faster than others. But the truth of the matter is, if you sowed it, you're going to reap it. And don't be shocked and looking around saying, what is this? Where did this come from? How many people have you blessed and you forgot about them, but God has not forgotten? Somebody to help me up in here. You got to understand that God's favor is on our lives. I want you to say, say God's favor is on my life. And that's why I was telling you this morning, Kyron, it's not about how much money you make. It's how much faith you have. Do you hear what I'm saying? See, God, God don't need you to make a whole lot of money. It wasn't like God needed uh, all the 20,000 men of Gilead to go fight. Matter of fact, it wasn't them that made the decision to decrease the numbers. It was God making the decision to cre- decrease the number as they went against 135,000 people. They only had 20, and God said, that's too much. He said that too much. They went down to 10. Lo and behold, at the end of it, they went and fought with 300 men. They went and fought 300 men. They went and fought 300 men. They fought with 300 men. They fought with 300 men. 135,000 people. Y'all ain't gonna help me. And the truth is they didn't fight according to tradition. They had pictures that they broke. They blew their trumpet and God caused their enemies to scatter. What am I trying to tell you? God ain't impressed that you have enough. God wants to know you. you have enough faith. Do you trust me to sow and to what I ask you to do with the expectation I got you on the back end what I'm trying to tell you is God don't need your money he needs your faith God don't need your money he needs you to trust him God don't need your money he needs you to submit to authority God don't need your money he needs to let you he needs you to know he got everything under control and I'm talking to a room of people that are shifting how you do things so that you can be involved in a cycle of seed time and harvest to make sure that you are never in lack again you are never going to be broke again you are never going to be frustrated again because your confidence will be in God because you have trusted him and sowed the right seed I wish I had somebody here saying I'm getting ready to change everything I do